Welcome to Switch Corner, my name is Alex and today we're going to be taking a look at my favourite deals coming in under $10 or your local currency covering the US, Canada, UK, EU and Australia. It's definitely been a little quieter than normal on the eShop but still 11 games today, a few new low prices and a good 50% of them coming in under 5 bucks. A shout out then to Surfshark for sponsoring today's video and with that Hit subscribe, join us here on Switch Corner for reviews and deals near daily, and let's get started. Before we do jump into this then, if you are thinking of picking something up, head to cornershop.gg for official Nintendo Switch eShop gift cards. These, they are instant delivery and you get a 10% discount with code CORNER at checkout through the month of May. It supports the channel as we do get a small kickback and all details in the pinned comment below. Fury then to open the video and it's the only deal today that doesn't reach or even match the previous low. That said though, fantastic game it released back in 2018. I want to shout it out though because some 4 years later they've actually just released a DLC that changes the game entirely with a new character and moveset. For those that don't know it's a boss rush experience centered around escaping an alien like prison. The gameplay though it combines gunplay and swordplay but it now features accessibility options and these have been updated for free, think in invincibility mode and then it even throws in a new extra boss as well. The new character that is actually paid but there was a lot of free in there as well. Check it out, 50% off and my original review and the DLC review both in the pinned comment below. Sphinx and the Cursed Mummy then gets a generous 70% off matching the low price but we've not seen this sale in a while. It's a now 19 year old platformer but it is a solid port, you know it's been done up with HD visuals, all that good stuff, the controllers, it's kind of been tweaked. It's just a really fun experience that was priced way too high at launch, $29.99. I reviewed it though and I'll be linking that down below. The gameplay with this one, it's a 3D platformer, very old school, throws in some combat and has some decent puzzles as well. You'll feel it's age, no question, it's got the typical dodgy camera as well, but as nostalgia pieces go, I really liked it. We get to play then as two characters and it's a fun story as you take on the role of, you know, saving the day from evil. A shout out then to today's sponsor Surfshark. Surfshark is a VPN with a web extension and app built to keep you safe and private with everything you do online. I've been using a VPN for years for a few reasons. First, I use public Wi-Fi a lot and the use of a VPN, it simply means it encrypts and keeps my online data safe. Then my favourite bit, I'm from the UK, live in the US and I need British TV in my life so I'm just one click away from access. I open a quick drop down menu, select the UK and boom, my browser and all websites think I'm back home. That goes for services like Netflix too, they have a huge library that you don't know about because it varies by region. A good example, I just started watching Steins Gate with Surfshark via Italy because you won't find that in the US. It even works then on smart TVs, phones, tablets and they offer a whole lot more to learn more over on the Surfshark website but while you are there they've given us a huge 83% off with code switch corner. That puts the price at just $2.21 a month with the 24 month package and that even includes an additional 3 months for free. Find the link in the pinned comment and description down below and show Surfshark some love. Inside and Limbo then a couple of classics and I'm pairing them here together given their relation. Limbo has 80% off, Inside that's a generous 90%, they are both matching the low price. These they are dark puzzle platformers that everyone should experience. It's also a case of the less you know, the better off you will be. With that in mind I'm going to be simply quoting from the eShop. In Limbo, uncertain of his sister's fate, a boy enters this location known as Limbo and then, inside, hunted and alone, a boy finds himself drawn into the centre of a dark project. These games they are masterpieces and must buys and I had them on my mind again this week after reviewing a great little title called Vespa which I'll be linking down below. I think fans of this series will definitely like that one. 
this junction then, honestly I didn't love it, my full review in the pinned comment, I called it above average still. That said, I know a lot of people out there, they enjoyed this one quite a bit more than I did. Story is good though, I'll say that, it's 2048, a prominent community leader is arrested, and we are on the hunt to understand what has happened, and to basically uncover a conspiracy. Gameplay wise, it's a top down stealth action game and it gets a lot right, upgrades, weapon selection, different approach options, but for me the balancing felt off as did enemy AI. It also got a little repetitive with some relatively long checkpoints causing burnout. A new low then, 50% off. For close then as well, while I'm talking somewhat cyberpunk misses on this one, a third person adventure that throws you into a world where people are essentially owned. You lose all your rights and you need to now escape. It's kind of minor exploration and a whole lot of gunplay. It is though a case of style over substance, you know, there's no question design wise and visually seriously impressive. The problem, it had a habit of throwing you into bland locations, a lot of the gameplay revolves around fetch quests if anything, and then the gunplay, it is fine, but a ton of these enemies in here, they're simply bullet sponges, so it can get pretty frustrating. Take a look at my full review in the pinned comment below, and it's back here matching the low with 70% off. Circa Infinity Ultimate Edition then is back matching the low with 82% off and no doubt We'll see it a lot, but this one has me hooked. It's such a unique puzzle platformer. The idea is simple enough, run around these circles, jump to the center and proceed from there. But it quickly introduces more and more obstacles and it's almost hypnotic in its design. Not an easy game and I have a dedicated video to this one in the pinned comment below. This ultimate edition then it's throwing in an endless mode of new colour schemes and then new music and even remixes of that original soundtrack. Gets intense, it's absolutely an audio visual like experience but it's absolutely rewarding. City of Brass, I mentioned this one a fair bit but I always like to shout it out when it matches the low price of 90% off, that is the maximum discount we can hit in the US. This one though it comes from senior Bioshock developers and it's a first person action adventure that tasks you with making it to the centre of this Arabian Nights themed city. It is not easy as a warning, in fact it's a roguelite so try, try and try again. I just enjoyed the weapon variety, the traps, the whip that you can leverage. It for sure gives me that Prince of Persia, Indiana Jones vibe though and I feel like that's always going to be a good thing. Morbid and the Seven Acolytes then to kick off the final three games of the video, it's back matching the low here of 70% off. This price we've only seen it once before and it's a brutal, pixel styled, self described horror punk action RPG. Think here a whole lot of like Cronenberg and Lovecraft influences. They don't disappoint either with enemy design, some are truly gruesome and you enter this world to take down seven evil gods. It's not easy, it's got a souls like influence with stamina management, but then it also throws in sanity as well and along the way you'll be meeting NPCs to add further context to this world and taking down all sorts of enemies. I will say I got a bit of burnt out in the middle of the game, but it definitely picks up the pace again quick enough. Our penultimate game of the video then under Hero and Wall, yes it is discounted in the US and Canada, we have seen it lower. You really want to be looking at the UK, EU and Australian pricing here, it is a steal and a new low price. This one it's absolutely a hidden gem, an RPG platformer where the hero has failed, so an underling that is you of the evil king takes his place in that role. It's a side scrolling adventure with traditional platforming mechanics but then the combat, it is not hack and slash but rather timing based. Throw in then the ability to level up, puzzles and yeah this is one I was seriously impressed with. I would suggest watch a full review first before you do part with that cash, it's got some you know unique ideas, but it's nice to see something just a little bit different. A new low then in those stated regions, 70% off. Our final game of the video then, Super Cyborg, a recent release, one I reviewed, you can find that video in the pinned comment below. It was budget to begin with, now it is a steal with 43% off. A Contra clone, essentially you will be running and gunning your way through this world as the title Cyborg facing off against all sorts of enemies. It's of course pretty light on the story front, but that gameplay it is awesome. 
Along the way though expect to see platforming, new weapons, all sorts of enemies, free difficulty options, it even packs a few levels that are top down. I love the old school look, it's rocking, but just be warned, even on the lowest difficulty, this is not an easy game, it's 7 levels of challenging old school gaming. And that's another week down, remember to check out that link in the pinned comment from Surfshark and while you are there maybe check out a few of my other videos and also the discounted eShop gift cards at the same time. A shout out then to the patrons of the channel who are going above and beyond to support Switch Corner, it helps more than you know so thank you all so much. Then hit subscribe if you love the Switch, as much as we all do here, join our growing family and I'll see you all on the next video. Thanks everyone.